Check it out everyone, we just stopped on this section of road because there's a pretty big flood here. Oh my gosh, I definitely gotta show you what's down there. I didn't even see that until just now. I'm gonna shut the car off and we're gonna go take a little walk down there. Beavers have just flooded the entire road. But these are roads that aren't gonna be being used again for a long time. These are not main arteries or anything. If we can do something about it, then we will, but don't need to make a huge effort about it on these type of roads. I don't even see the pipe. I think this has been clogged up such a long time. Maybe right here. No, that's a rock. Maybe though. I'm not seeing the pipe. But I definitely want to take a walk down there. I'm right in the middle of the road, but I'm just going to shut the car off. I had to drive through pretty deep snow to even get out here. And I'm the only track. I'm the only one who's been out here all year. And there's definitely enough room someone could get by me. But in the past five days, I've not seen a single other person on any of these roads Wait, wait a second, wait a second. Trickling water. The pipe might be up there to drain this flooded area. Sometimes they're not always put in in the best spot. And that might be the case here. They're not always in the right spots like you would assume they are. Is this maybe a pipe up here? By how shallow it's getting. The likelihood is no. No, this is barely even flowing. Here we go. Yeah, there's a pipe right here. You see, it must have been muddy when they did this install. See all the logs they put around the pipe? That may... That's going to be such pain to unclog that. I think it was beavers too by the, all the debris right here. Yeah, that was probably the beavers. There's a lot of beaver development going up in the past couple weeks because the past couple weeks is when the snow all melted. I wouldn't be driving here even two weeks ago. It would have been impossible Everywhere around here had a couple feet of snow. If I would have came here a month ago, there would have been almost four feet of snow. Wouldn't be going anywhere without snowshoes. Got a pile of moose pellets. And a bunch of toilet paper. It looks like somebody took a dump there maybe last season. A lot of flagging tape. This road was completely blocked off. Yeah, look at this. The road is just abandoned after this. So it doesn't even matter that the beavers are here. Who knows, they might get a decade out of this place before the logging company eventually opens it back up. There's the lodge, that's a smaller lodge. I'll have to show you, there's a really big one on the way back that the beavers actually built here. If it's built here, usually it's not even a problem. They'll never be messed with. But when it's on the side of the road leading towards that's when it's a problem. But look at this. Beaver dam right in the road. Take a look at all these little pieces they use. This beaver just used a bunch of tiny little pieces to construct this. And the road is still, it's rocky, it's still stable. Definitely. If you had a truck that could clear this, you could probably go still drive through this. But like I'm doing now, if you have a vehicle that's capable of that, always inspect. You never know if there could be a soft spot. Definitely want to walk through it first. Also, this is a very small beaver swamp, meaning being in the water, the beaver could be territorial. It's always a possibility. I love how they make these little... That's really cool. Now this is a deeper section.
I really like this. I wonder where the culvert is. There's probably still a culvert well underneath the water now. Wait, maybe right here. This looks like a potential place for a culvert pipe. So you can even see their little handprints recently pushing the slop up, sealing any little crack. Yeah, look at this. You can tell people have driven up to this, but not many people have gone down. Although it does look pretty recent like somebody may have went down there. But also, what I just walked through, that, the entire thing, could be constructed since this person went through here. Because everything's pushed over. We just had winter. Winter, well, I mean, the spring is the best time to use these roads. Because you come here in the fall, even when everything's dead again, you still got stuff sticking up and there could be hidden rocks you smashed the vehicle on. This looks like it would be the pipe right here. What's dripping is just leakage coming out of the dam. This is a beaver trail. Something's a, there's a bunch of rhizomes starting to come out there. So, culvert entrance would be down here in this deep murky water somewhere. Here's another beaver trail. That's a secondary pond that they have downstream. You can see they walk up and down here quite often. This beaver dam hasn't been here long. You know, it wouldn't take much to clear this road up. That pipe over there may not even be damaged. It might just need to remove whatever blockage is on the end. The water can let loose. And this right here, if you had a snow plow, you could probably throw that off the road really easily. But this is an abandoned road. It's just gonna go back to nature for the time being.